the myriad of emotions associated with horror movies are usually only pleasant in hindsight, as you fondly remember screaming and or gagging in reaction to whatever traumatized you on screen, even though these are obviously negative feelings. This peculiar phenomenon is why I can state that I immensely enjoyed Matt Stewart's Tonight She Comes, despite initial reactions of revulsion and shock. Tonight She Comes stars an ensemble of unfortunate youths featuring Larissa White, Kamisha Cotton, Adam Hartley and Nathan Eswin who are drawn to an isolated cabin, where a young girl named Christy played by the dauntless doll Nicole disappeared. As the film counts down to midnight, this drunk and horny group of youngsters discovers that Christy is stalking the surrounding woods, murdering everyone in her way. Thus, they must band together in order to survive her supernatural rampage, all the while dealing with mysterious strangers lurking in the woods. While this brief summary may be reminiscent of several traditional slasher movies, this film is anything but. Satanic cults, vomit-inducing rituals, and solid direction complement the copious amounts of horror movie references with one especially blatant shout-out to the Friday the 13th franchise's most iconic killed, making this one of the most bizarrely original horror movies in recent memory even as it plays with popular genre tropes. The story may get a little messy, but the film is almost constantly unnerving, not to mention fun, and never feels without purpose. The structure sometimes suggests that the main characters are humorously stumbling into several unrelated horror flicks, but it somehow works. Stewart's stream of consciousness brand of storytelling results in a surprisingly clever fever dream of a film that simultaneously makes you gag in disgust as it compels you to keep watching just to see where the insane story and visuals are going next. Tonight She Comes can be construed as an unconventional reflection on human sexuality through horror movies, especially when you take into account some of the recurring sexual themes in the extremely suggestive title, but it's ultimately still a modern grindhouse flick, hellbent on attacking all of your senses with likable, but mostly paperthin characters and a muddled plot. Because of this, there will certainly be some viewers who will claim that the film is entirely lacking in the narrative department, but I think it's clear that Stewart's unorthodox storytelling decisions were completely deliberate. The oddly sinister antagonist is only further proof of this, as there's something inherently unsettling about an exposed human body relentlessly chasing you around in the dark. This might have something to do with archaic moral values still ingrained in modern society, but the film only uses this as a jumping-off point for some of its most memorable moments. The amazingly brutal effects and slick editing only highlight these qualities, as does the obligatory synth soundtrack, despite feeling a bit repetitive at times. Despite doing so many things right, Tonight She Comes isn't for everyone. This unexpectedly charming gorefist may offend a large portion of its potential viewers with its over-the-top antics, but the movie is definitely worth a watch if you can stomach some of the worst, or arguably best, that the genre has to offer. Just don't pick this one up for family movie night. Tonight She Comes will be playing in select Signmark theaters on October 5 as a part of Thursday nights at the Asylum.